How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you what it's like to drive the 2025 Genesis GV80 from a first person point of view. Every GV80 model comes standard with all wheel drive. The entry level comes with a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder making 300 horsepower. But this version has a three and a half liter twin turbocharged V6 making 375 horsepower and 391 pound feet of torque. All of that power is sent to the four wheels via an eight speed automatic transmission. I honestly love the way the GV80 looks. That split taillight design, the sleek matte black paint, optional 22 inch wheels. They come standard with 20s. I also love the dual vent work right here that's actually illuminated as well. But the biggest change to the 2025 GV80, other than of course the interior, is the revised front end. That grill and larger side air intakes just looks so Oh, good. It also has upgraded split micro array LED headlights. How cool are those? The interior is where things really shine for the GV80. I mean, look how luxurious this is. The gorgeous brown leather. We even have Alcantara on the headliner everywhere throughout the interior. Let's go ahead and hop inside. I am absolutely in love with the GV80's interior. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Start stop button right to the right of the steering wheel to turn on that gorgeous new 27 inch OLED display that's seamless and one piece. And I love the fact that this mountain range extends from the instrument cluster all the way across the screen. The two tone leather wrapped steering wheel is phenomenal. It took me a while to realize this is actually green and not black. We've got paddles for the eight speed automatic transmission. We also have Bang & Olufsen speakers, 18 speakers, 1400 watts that sound great. One of the cool parts about this interior is the climate control area down here in the center console. It has this kind of newspaper finish. I've never seen anything like it before. I don't even know what to call it, but it feels really nice and it looks really, really cool. It stretches across the dash as well. The seat design is fantastic. I love the diamond contrast stitching. It just looks so cool. And the controls are really easy to use as well. To put the vehicle into drive, you just turn this kind of diamond knob to the right there. Now we're in drive. To put it in a reverse, you turn it to the left. We've got a great backup camera, some driver assist features that we'll show out on the road that are absolutely phenomenal. Go ahead and put that back into park. We've got a drive mode selector here with a slew of different driving modes. So if we go ahead and turn that, it even changes the display. So we've got eco mode for good fuel economy, comfort. We've got sport, my mode, and snow mode because this is all wheel drive. Another thing I love about the vehicle's interior, we've got hard controls for the volume and the climate, as well as some really nicely laid out touch controls. Every single component in this car feels nice to the touch and has a high quality material. I mean, Look, the A-pillars are gorgeous Alcantara. Even if you pull down this right here, there's Alcantara on the back of the sun visor. And even the mechanism to open this vanity mirror feels nice. They even made the seat belts brown. The attention to detail is absolutely insane. The only thing that I wish they'd improve is the paddles feel a little bit plastic. Off we go in the GV80. I've honestly been so impressed with this vehicle. I've had it for a week. I've driven it on a long distance drive to visit my friend Alejandro to film a podcast. I was in the car for about five and a half, six hours that day and I didn't get tired whatsoever. And it's got some driver assistance features that are absolutely phenomenal, both on short trips and on long trips as well. So it's got basically self-driving. If you click on this button right here, the cruise control, and then you make sure that this button right here is activated, that's the steering assist, you can get it to drive itself on the highway perfectly. I mean, it'll steer itself in between the lanes. I'll maybe include a clip right here. It can even make it around turns really easily. Look at this. It's making it around a turn in a canyon. Look at that. I was a little bit nervous. It's giving me a warning to put my hands back on the wheel. But in a highway scenario and just kind of normal two lane roads, it works exceptionally well. We've got a nice heads up display there too. Now, one of my favorite parts about this in terms of safety features is this blind spot monitoring system. Check this out. When I activate the turning indicators, it shows me my blind spot on the dash. If I do the right turning indicator, it shows on the right side of the dash. It's so intuitive and it basically makes it so if you crash into something, 
well, good luck. You're, <laughs> you'd crash any car. This thing is so easy to drive. The visibility is fantastic. If you look over your shoulder, the only visibility point that's blocked is kind of the rear corner, but that's what this awesome little camera setup is useful for. So let's switch between the different driving modes. Let's put it into comfort mode. Now we have electronically controlled suspension that actually uses a camera system in the front of the vehicle to detect things like potholes. So if it sees a pothole, it'll adjust the suspension accordingly to make it smoother when you hit it, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> it'll uh, see the turns in the road to mitigate body roll. Now, this is absolutely not a sporty, athletic, super fun to drive SUV in the canyons. This is an exceptional luxury vehicle. They've added more insulation, they've added acoustic glass, so it's very quiet in here. It's a serene experience, even on the freeway with people honking, you're kind of in your own world in the GV80. Now, if you wanna push it around corners, they are making the GV80 Coupe, which has over 400 horsepower and likely will have slightly better driving dynamics uh, in terms of a sporty driving feel, but this is just a full-fledged, awesome luxury vehicle. Now, something I discovered by accident when driving this car, if I touch down here by the seat controls, it's got this kind of capacitive touch. If I touch the button to move the seat forward and backwards, it lights that one up. And there's even a little massage button. So we've got the Ergo Massage Motion Seat. I can set that to whole body. Now I'm getting a whole body massage it kind of keeps you awake over your drive. I know it sounds a little bit gimmicky, but it's a pretty decent massage. The only thing I wish they would improve about the seat is I feel like the bottom portion that you're sitting on could be a little bit softer over very long drives, but you can control so many different facets of the seat, it's possible I'm just not setting it up entirely correctly. I love the 27 inch display. It looks absolutely incredible. The graphics are awesome. It's responsive. You've got hard controls as well as you can use it as a touchscreen. We of course have ambient lighting, but something that's new for the 2025, if we scroll over, check this out. I'm I've seen this in BMWs, but not in a Genesis. If we go to the Mude Curator and click Vitality, watch this. It's gonna start ambient lighting and start playing music throughout the cabin. It's so interesting. I actually do feel quite relaxed right now. And that is just a ridiculous graphic. That looks awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll turn that down because it's a bit distracting. Now, in terms of acceleration, 375 horsepower, it does feel relatively quick. Let's go ahead and put it into sport mode. Obviously, I'm used to driving very fast cars for a living, but this has plenty of power. I mean, 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque is absolutely no joke. Uh, it does accelerate, get you onto the freeway with no problem at all. The turning radius is good as well. Let's demonstrate kind of the parking features right here. Go ahead and turn around, put it into reverse. Then we can use that backup camera. Looks like we also have a cool surround view camera where you can see a digital version of your GV80. Although that makes it kind of hard to tell what's behind me in that view. Now, something a lot of people don't know, the reason that this is so well designed and in so many ways reminds me of a Bentley Bentayga for less money is because one of the lead designers at Bentley left in 2016 and joined Hyundai. And then they became the designer of the GV80. So there are a lot of similarities between Bentleys. This two-tone steering wheel with the brown and green, I actually had a Bentley flying spur with this spec. So it feels very familiar, as does the Alcantara absolutely everywhere. But unlike some brands that it feels like a copy, this feels like Genesis's own take uh, on a luxury SUV. And I think they did such a fantastic job from the graphics, from the looks. I mean, the exterior appearance of this is genuinely impressive. I really do like the way it looks and they've upgraded the grill. The grill was a teeny bit awkward before and now I think it looks really, really nice. And the interior is ridiculous. The seat design is brilliant. They're super controllable. And man, I'm really impressed. If you don't need the bigger engine, 
starting at 58 grand this is one heck of a vehicle and if you want the faster engine and a little bit more luxurious starting at eighty thousand dollars you really are getting a ton of car for the money let's go ahead and give this thing a little launch shall we see that acceleration from a standstill all right off we go pretty quick all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video like always please browse the channel and subscribe i look forward to seeing you next video Bye.